gets the guillotine here, see, like right here, and I literally get a roll out. Now, I do this for a big reason. One is he gets here, but he's got a grip on my neck. It's hard for me to fight the hands when he's down here. Now, I'll try, right? If I can get my hands inside and defend, I'll definitely do it when I'm up top, but I will roll out. What this does is, one, we're going up to a position where it's a little bit more difficult for him to obviously to finish, but two, it allows me to now hand fight. And what we want to do when we hand fight is I want to get a two-on-one grip on one of these arms here. Okay, if it's easier to grab this one, that's great. If I can grab this one, that's fine too. Whichever hand I can get a hold of is good. In this position right here, I feel like I can get a snag between, right on the meat of his thumb. So right here, that's what I'm going to focus on. Whatever you do though, when you hand fight, notice I'm saying hand fight, not like forearm fight. Don't grab someone's forearm because it's too strong. It's like, um, come up and put me in a rear naked choke. A lot of people will start to fight like right here with the forearms. Freaking big meaty forearms. Okay, I'm not gonna stop it. Like, start squeezing tighter. You can get it. But if I get up here and get a hold of the wrist, or even like on the inside the meat of the hand here, like sometimes I can grab right here. Like that's gonna be like he can try to go and try to finish it up. I've got leverage here. Okay, so don't go for the arms. Go for the hands. Okay, so. He goes up for the choke. Here, sits up. Now again, if I can fight the hands here, that's great, but a lot of times as soon as he gets a good grip and he starts to sit back, that's gonna stop me from hopping over because a lot of times that'll be my first option. We'll do that one in just a second. So as he's sitting back to this hip, I'm gonna roll out here. And if I can get to this position where I'm almost like, like making a line with him, that's ideal. I don't wanna stay really tight, really close to him because now you can just roll up to a mounted guillotine. Okay, so I wanna come up to the side. If the person does try to come up to a mount position, you can defend with one hand and try to use a secondary hand to try to push him off of you. Now, two hands on one of his hands and his wrist, and we can start to fight. And then from there, you know, it's going to be a, a scramble. Because once we break this grip, he's going to be trying to come up on, on top. I'm going to be trying to come up on top. This going to be a scramble, but you can typically get your neck out of here. So the idea is we're rolling out, and we're getting two hands on, a, on one of his and then fighting that, that's it, okay? So all I want you guys to do is you're gonna do that same really simple, basic setup. He's gonna do his hip bump to his guillotine. Boom, comes back down, shoots underneath here, he puts the fight here, and then we roll out. And again, the person on the, uh, who goes for the choke, go ahead and sit up and get the grip. We'll do an arm out guillotine for right now. Shooting, get the arm out guillotine, get it set up, and let the person roll out, okay? Questions? All right, one, two, three. As he sits back here, what I want to do is I want to go with it and then hop to the other side. Now, there's a few things going on there. One is if I feel him grab my neck and I'm going back, I'm going to have my other hand ready to post, okay? Second thing is I want to have some hand to try to trap that leg. So, come back up. So, if I feel like if, as I'm falling, a lot of times as I'm going, this hand will be here, okay? Now, what I'm doing is I'm making sure he doesn't get that leg locked. Because again, if, it, if this happens, I can't hop over. Okay, do we get it? So what I'm doing as we're getting here, I'm getting some grip on it so he can't throw the leg over. This hand posts, and then I'm gonna lean all of my weight onto his shoulder and hop over. And again, for you guys that know, you can go right into the Von Flu if you want to, okay? Um, so I want you to start from the knees, and then if you guys feel comfortable, you can even do it in a shot. What that looks like in a shot is again, we go in, Oh, we're shooting. Right there, popping over to the other side. But again, it takes a little bit of time. So if you feel them, like, you basically have to have a tripwire around your neck, where as soon as they go around, you have to have a, an option ready. But then you're gonna hop over, you're gonna roll out, you're gonna hand fight, whatever. You need to immediately start fighting. Okay, so from there, as soon as, for me, if I'm shooting him for a takedown, if I feel someone do this, my hand immediately comes down to block that leg, and I'm posting on the hand. So, again, you can do it from a takedown like that, or, do it from the knee position here, just to make it simple as they're going. Lock, post, and again, hop. You'd like to get as vertical as possible and then turn to the side. And you're right, whatever. When we land, or when we go, we start on our toes, slight bend in the knee, and we hop. One, two. What ends up happening for a lot of people is in the beginning, is if they go, if they go two feet at the same time, it like falls like this, okay? This isn't necessarily bad, but because I'm on my knees, I don't have a lot of quick movement available to me anymore right here. Whereas if I hop over, and I'm on my toes, not only is all my weight pressed into that, right that? Yes. Right there. <laughs> also, if I need to move, I can move a lot better. 